Hey everyone! So the topic of today's video is highlighting and you know I've never really been much into highlighters. Um, I have a few but I never really used them that much or when I did it wasn't anything that I really enjoyed. It was just something like I felt like I should be doing. Well there has been a product that I have been using consistently for highlighting my face and my eyes every day for weeks now and I thought you know what I gotta make a video about this because I'm obsessed with it and I love it I don't have it on right now because I wanted to do a little demonstration for you but um, what I'm talking about is MAC Vanilla Pigment now a lot of people use this as an eyeshadow and pigments can be used a bunch of different ways. I, If you want to know more about that, I believe I did a video a couple years ago probably about MAC pigments, but um, for the purpose of today, I'm going to show you how I use it. Now, first of all, pigments are very, very concentrated and one jar like this is pretty much gonna last you your whole life. You'll never get through a jar this size. It has a consistency. Yeah, you probably won't be able to see that. And I don't want to tilt it too much because <laughs> there's gonna be a big disaster here. It's gonna go all over my keyboard and everything. But yeah, the way the light is shining on it, you can't see. But it's very like lumpy and bumpy and it curls up into little balls and stuff and um, so it isn't the easiest product in the world to work with but I have found from trial and error that the easiest way to work with this is to use your fingers and what I do is usually I just work off of whatever product falls in the cap but it looks like I pretty much wiped that out so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ring finger and just dip it right in to the product and then stick my finger in the cover and kind of swirl it around and what that's going to do is that's going to give me a decent amount of product on my ring finger and again this is very very concentrated so to try to work with a brush with this I think would be quite difficult so what I do is I put my ring fingers together and swirl, swirl it around and then I have just the right amount of product on both fingers and I'm gonna go right across the top of my cheekbone and then blend with all my fingers just like that because you don't want to overdo it with this because otherwise you're gonna look like a uh, disco ball and this just gives a very nice like sheen glow it's um the color is ivory and it is a frost finish so yeah it just gives you a nice little ivory glow and it seems to go with everything um, it doesn't matter what I pair this with as far as makeup colors go, I can do any color of blush, lipstick, eyeshadow, doesn't make any difference. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my eyes. I didn't get quite enough on there. You'll be able to tell by looking at your fingers if it's going to be the right amount or not. And now I'm just going to go right along the brow bone. And you can always go back and use a brush once you get the placement. You can always go back with a brush. But I find it's just easier to do it with my finger. I think the heat from your body on your finger seems to work with the pigment to help blend it in. 
And because this is so intense, you might mess up your crease color a little bit. So sometimes I'll go back and I'll just add just a little bit more crease color, especially in the outer corner, to kind of fix doing the highlight. Or if you want to make it easier, you can do the highlight first. And that way it won't interfere with what you've got going on for your eye makeup. If you do the highlight first, then you can do the lid color and then your crease color will go between those two. And it just makes it a little easier. Then you don't really have to fix anything. But yeah, MAC Vanilla Pigment. Now there was a time when you could only get pigments at MAC stores, but um, that is no longer true. Now you can get them everywhere, at counters, any place that sells MAC products now you can get pigments. And vanilla pigment is just so versatile. I mean, I've been using it every single day for my eye and my face highlight, and it's just so easy and goes with everything. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, so this is my current highlighter obsession. And because I've been enjoying this so much, it has changed the way I look at highlighting. I think I have like a new appreciation for it because of this. So now I think I'm going to be hitting up my other highlighters and playing around with those because I have been enjoying this so, so much. So that is it for today, and um, I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.